Dozens of people suffering from diarrhea are seeking treatment at Kuadzana Clinic just in case they have cholera. The densely populated Harare suburb is a hotspot of new infections. The outbreak has been declared a state of emergency in the capital, with authorities introducing measures to stem its spread. The government is, you know, and the city council also have stopped the, the selling of food along the streets, a cooking of food along the streets, because obviously that trans that makes transmission of cholera to be, you know, to be fast. And also the issue with the high density areas, in terms of there's no running tap water, they tend to use those shared you know, walls or shared uncovered bores, maybe unsafe bores. So obviously, as of now, those have to be treated. And even the people that the water they are drinking has to be chlorinated or at least boiled. However, more critical issues also seem to be fueling the spread. This raw sewage is flowing from blocked and burst sewer pipes. It ends up flooding public drains and posing a deadly risk. Residents say unless the poor state of infrastructure is addressed, disease outbreaks will continue. Children end up playing in the dirty water because we can't monitor them all the time. To make matters worse, running water into our homes is rationed from Thursday to Monday, so we don't have enough to use in the toilets. Naomi Nyoni whose yard has an almost permanent flow of sewage, has just recovered from a bout of acute diarrhea, which she suspects was cholera. She says knowing how to treat early symptoms is imperative. I was on oral rehydration, drinking sugar and salt solution for two weeks. That's what saved my life. The council needs to fix the challenges at once, or else we will remain at risk. I am scared that if I get infected again before I regain my full strength, I may die. The government, the city of Harare and aid agencies have joined forces to increase the supply of clean water and medication to affected communities.